For no comply backside 360s, I set up kind of like this, kind of like a heel flip and adjust for comfort. But I do insist that you have your toes off the board. Why? Because you want to be able to quickly take your foot off and you have to roll your ankle to do that. You're just shifting your weight and your back foot like you're scooping a backside 180. The quicker you take off your foot, the quicker the snap of the board, which allows the whole momentum, everything to just come full circle. Key things you gotta pay attention to are how fast you take your foot off the board. The step off and your shoulders literally carry this entire trick. Try to get your back leg to do the full 360. Even if you don't land it, just bail a couple. Take your foot off far away from the board. The way to do that is to wind up your shoulders and lean into the axis, your front foot, and allow your shoulders to lead your back foot. Once you just jump, everything should like come full circle. And you want to follow this cadence. Watch this clip over and over until you get the cadence. Meeks is about to do a backside no comply 360. Pay close attention to the way he steps off the board. How do you backside no comply 360? So basically, you'd want to have your foot in a heel flip position as if you're about to do a heel flip, kind of. It's almost like a combination of like a heel flip position and a tray flip position. And then you just step off and scoop your board and jump. And, the, and as long as you wind up, the rest will follow, if that makes any sense. Make it make sense. And just uh, follow that cadence that I was talking about. Just It's kind of like a little hop and you just turn your shoulders, the board, everything will follow your shoulders. You got this.